I'm Noel Nellis. I'm president of the Board of Trustees of the uh, BAM PFA, Berkeley Art Museum and Pacific Film Archive. And it's my pleasure to be able to thank you all for being here and to welcome you to our museum. As you all probably know, we've been open about a month now, a little over a month. And it's been beyond our wildest expectations in terms of the community reaction, the crowds, the uh, enthusiasm, the spirit of it. Uh, naturally, it's pleased us a great deal. We always knew that when we got this done, it would be transformative for downtown, transformative for the Berkeley, the town and gown connection for the Berkeley campus and the, and the city. And it's done all of those things, and I think the future looks very great for downtown with, with this addition. Those of you who are here particularly because of the James Cahill Asian Art Study Center that we're formally dedicating today. Thank you for being here for that. That's been a, an important, uh, vibrant part of the Berkeley Art Museum for a long time. And James Cahill, of course, his association, his commitment, his generosity toward the Berkeley campus and our museum is something that we've all been indebted to him and his family for for a long time. So naturally, it's with great warm feelings we all have that we ask you now to uh, join the rest of us on this program and celebrate the opening of the James Cahill Asian Arts Center. And I'll start by asking Larry Rinder, our director, to take over here. Thank you. Thank you, Noel. Wow, this is, this is really an incredible turnout, and it, it really is a testament to the significance of Asian art in the program of the Berkeley Art Museum and Pacific Film Archive, and also the love that we all have for, for James Cahill. Uh, this is an incredible confluence of uh, circumstance and hard work and uh, the dedication of so many people. So it really is a, a great occasion to have uh, you all here and for us to share this celebration. One of the, the things that he really gave to, to this institution and to all of us was the uh, a recognition of the, the power of looking, uh, you know, and that should be the first and foremost thing of any art historian, but it isn't always, and Jim really uh, brought that to every one of his students, and the way he did that was by bringing them to BAM PFA. So he was a professor here on campus for 29 years, and he taught really wonderfully, but one of the things that he would typically do is bring his classes to our Asian Art Study Center, which you'll recall from the old building was kind of a small area in, in the lower level. And uh, by just looking at the works, many of which were works that were from his collection, some which he owned, some which he had donated, other things that had come from other members of his family, he helped his students to gain an incredibly sophisticated knowledge of brushwork, connoisseurship, authenticity, and condition of works, which things which you can really only gather from looking at the works themselves. So both the works in his collection, but also this approach to studying became a staple of what we do here at BAM PFA and indeed what we do here at UC Berkeley. Given all of that, it is just tremendously appropriate and wonderful that we name our Asian Art Study Center the James Cahill Asian Art Study Center. Uh, so on behalf of uh, the staff and board of BAM PFA, I want to thank everyone who contributed so generously to make this, this center possible and to make the naming, uh, uh, you know, the uh, forever for this center. Uh, I want to first thank the fundraising co-chairs, uh, Sally Yu Leung and Jane Lurie. They have been such... <laughs> Hooray. Sally and Jane have been such incredibly ardent uh, supporters. Uh, their vision, leadership, and generosity have made this possible. Uh, this is something that always should have happened. I'm not sure it would have happened without them. So thank you, Sally and Jane. I want to thank the other lead donors, uh, including Jan and Tom Boyce, uh, Sarah Cahill, Cahill, Dessa Goddard of Bonham's Asian Art uh, Department, and Sheila Keppel. And now, uh, for just a moment, I'd like to have Sally and Jane join me at the podium to say a few words. I was in the first docent class, which was 50 years ago, and he changed my life. I knew nothing about Asian art. I had loved art, and I came to San Francisco, um, where I was a little disappointed with the general art scene, but when I heard the Brundage Collection was coming, I was enthralled, and uh, I, along with about 100 other docents, uh, studied with James Cahill. He taught 
the first, second, and third classes and uh, gave us a tremendous appreciation of actually seeing the work itself. And I don't think I need to say anything because I think the center, the museum, and every one of your presence really speak for itself. I just want to thank you because I think today is really a day uh, not just celebration for the center, but a celebration for every one of us that's in present and for those that could not come today. Because we have a center that will open to everybody, the lover of Chinese painting, uh, paperwork, um, and also scholars, students. And uh, Jane and I felt that this is so important because a lot of people, they did not have the privilege, as we do, to look at the real painting while studying with Professor K. Hill. So let it be Julia White, our curator, also uh, Dr. Pat Berger, a lot of you in present. So I think this is really a day to congratulate ourselves uh, as the, what the, the establishment, the, the one of the participants in the Establishment Center. And thank you all for coming. So we're also gathered here today to um, just sort of bask in the great uh, good fortune of BAM PFA being the recipient of a truly extraordinary, extraordinary gift of art from Sarah Cahill, which she has given to us in honor of her father, Jim Cahill. It is a early 14th century Chinese painting by Sun Jun Tzu. It's a monumental uh, landscape painting. It is just an incredibly beautiful and important picture, a picture that uh, appropriately, Jim Cahill uh, essentially discovered and attributed and uh, taught from, and it's, it's a fantastic piece. And, and uh, the Board of Trustees accepted the work, uh, naturally. And um, so we're very grateful to Sarah for this incredible gift, and you'll all be able to see it downstairs. But I'd like to ask Sarah if she could come and say a few words. Thank you so much. It's, it's really wonderful to be here in this beautiful new museum. My father used to talk about two kinds of gift giving. The first kind of gift giving was when it was a huge amount of work to give but not that meaningful to the recipient. He gave as an example when my grandparents would send packages from their vacations in Maui with guava jelly and chocolate covered macadamia nuts, which we really didn't like, and a jar of guava jelly would always break in transit by the time it got to our house. And so there would be broken glass and leaking guava jelly all over. And, uh, and we really didn't like the guava jelly, but my father would say, no, we can't open the raspberry jam because we have to eat the guava jelly first. <laughs> so, um, but it was a lot of work for my grandparents to send these packages and they just kept sending them because of course we were like, oh, we just love it. And so um, the other kind of gift giving for him was represented by the time he was visiting a favorite teacher, and uh, the teacher saw my father looking at a book on uh, his bookshelf and knew that that book would be incredibly meaningful to my father, more so than to himself. And so he took it down and gave it to my father as a present. And so my father was saying that was, that was the real great kind of gift giving. And um, he was an incredibly generous man. He was very generous to this museum, and it was a reciprocal um, relationship that meant so much to him. It was hugely important to him, his relationship with the Berkeley Art Museum. He was very, very generous to Nick, who is, I'm so glad Nick is here today, my brother Nicholas Cahill, and um, <laughs> our, our mother Dorothy Cahill is also here. And <laughs> um, and he, he, was, he was very generous with his family and his friends. And I think many people in this room um, have that spirit of generosity. And it's so wonderful what you, Jane Lurie and Sally Leung, have, have done. And Sheila Keppel and Larry Rinder and Julia White, everybody has made this possible. It's a great, great occasion. And as Larry said, um, it was hugely important to my father uh, to, to really look at the paintings, uh, to have a place like this where students and scholars could actually view the paintings. Um, he stressed that relationship, that intimate relationship with the work of art um, 
So here finally is a study center for research, for scholarship, for connoisseurship, for contemplation, and um, it's, it's a wonderful, wonderful occasion. Thank you so much. Okay, and now it's my, my great pleasure to introduce Pat Berger, UC Berkeley Professor of Chinese Art in the History of Art Department at UC Berkeley. Uh, Pat is a UC Berkeley alum herself. Uh, she received her MA and PhD from UC Berkeley and was just last week a, a recipient of the prestigious College Art Association's Distinguished, Distinguished Teaching of Art History Award. Uh, needless to say, we're tremendously proud uh, of our connection to scholarship at UC Berkeley, and I'd like to welcome Pat to talk a little bit about how this center will impact teaching at Cal. Thank you so much, Larry. Um, you know, like you, uh, when you took your course with Professor Cahill in the 1990s, all of us who had the pleasure of working with him um, had the opportunity to see paintings in the, in the flesh, essentially. The opportunity of seeing paintings, actually, in a study setting, uh, such as we now have here at the Berkeley Art Museum because of everybody's incredible hard work and generosity. Uh, it's, it's an extraordinary thing. Now, having said that, um, I want you to know that Jim Cahill was a person who would look at a painting no matter what condition it was in. But in the end, it was contacts with the paintings in company with his students most often, but also friends uh, that really, I think, drove his scholarship. If we look at his later work in particular, uh, as he moves past the really fine formalism of his earlier books, we get the sense that he really understood that painting was a bond of sociability in China and that it continues to function that way, that looking at paintings together with friends, together with students, is a way of writing a different history of art, essentially. It's a continuing one. It's not one that ever will have an end. And now that we have the Cahill Center right here in our own gorgeous Berkeley Art Museum, uh, we can continue this tradition, I think, for as long as the building stands. So thanks again to all of you. Thank you, Pat. So I guess that's it. It's just a great honor to be here, and thank you very much for your support of BAMPFA.